Hi friends. In this video, I will analyze a speaker protection circuit. It is very helpful for speakers. Now, I will analyze how it works. When you turn on power switch, the current flows through resistor R1 to charge capacitor C1. The voltage of capacitor C1 will increase. I have chosen 10 volt to the Zener D2. In the reel, Zener 1 and 4740 is Zener 10 volt. The B junction voltage is 0.6 volt. So that, the voltage of capacitor C1 will increase to threshold 10.6 volt. When voltage of capacitor reaches to 10.6 volt, the transistor Q1 will conduct. The transistor Q1 conducts, relay will switch to on. The period time when power switch is turned on until the voltage of capacitor reaches 10.6 volt that is determined delay time. So, if you want to increase or decrease delay time, you can increase or decrease values of resistor R1 or C1 or Zener D2. I will make a another video to share how to calculating delay time of this circuit. In this circuit, you can see that there are resistor R3, resistor R4, diode D5. What their function is. The resistor R3 combines with resistor R4 to form a voltage divider circuit. The voltage at B point must higher than voltage at a point to avoid diode D5 biased. If diode D5 is biased, the voltage of capacitor C1 will discharge to GND through D5 and R4. A question for all of you. Why do we need this part circuit? Why don't we remove them? Because capacitor C1 doesn't have path to discharge its voltage when you turn off power switch. So that, the voltage of C1 is still 10.6 volt. If you turn on power switch in the second times, relay turn on, immediately. Now, you know that why we need this part circuit. The next, I will explain the function of transistor Q2 and transistor Q3. Assuming that happen a problem in amplifier lead to appear DC at speaker output. If it is DC positive voltage then transistor Q3 will be biased. This leads to the voltage of capacitor C1 that is discharged through CE junction of transistor Q3. So that, transistor Q1 turns off, relay switches to isolating speaker. And vice versa, if it is DC negative voltage then transistor Q2 will be biased. This lead to voltage C1 that is discharged through CE junction of transistor Q2. So that, transistor Q1 turns off, relay switches to isolating speaker. The next, the capacitor C3, C4 is used to bypass signal AC. If don't have two these capacitor, transistors Q2 and Q3 will be biased when appear a little AC voltage at speaker output. The resistors R5, R6 is used to isolating speaker output with speaker protection circuit. Resistor R7 combines with R5, R6 to form voltage divider circuit to protect transistors Q2, Q3. Resistor R2 is used to drop voltage to protect relay. Diode D3, capacitor C2 form a half wave rectifier. That is all my knowledge about this circuit. Now, I will simulate it in multi seam software.
I hope you like this video. See you on next video that how to calculating delay time. Don't forget like, share and subscribe my channel. Bye.